Emberlin Paris Emerge Noir. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a review on this Amberlin Paris Emerge Noir. Now this is a fragrance that was recommended to me by I think his name is Chuck, the cheapy guy. If you guys will suggest me random bottles, especially cheap bottles, and every now and again, I would just pull the trigger. I always want a new fragrance coming in. So if you guys throw me out some good suggestions, I might just pull the trigger like I did with this one, even with no fragrance reviews now. I know that the bottle in the presentation doesn't mean that much, but this bottle does look very, very good. Hopefully it's not the best part of this fragrance, but I really, really did like the bottle. I have to give my own interpretation of the smell because I could not find this on Fragrantica, so I do not know the notes. It smells kind of like a peach. Because peaches are the best. Musky style fragrance. It's either musky or objecty. A little bit full, but peach in the top. It does smell pretty good and actually pretty different. The only thing that smells like peach to me, Abercrombie's Authentic, which I reviewed a little while ago. Unfortunately, Abercrombie comes out with fragrances and gets rid of them right away. So there's not as much information or people buying it over the years. So it's not as well known, but it really did remind me a little bit of Abercrombie's Authentic. A peach fullness or a muskiness. And I almost get a hint, tininess, of strawberry in the background and the strawberry kind of gives it a little bit of a feel but overall it has that peach musk style vibe to me personally it just the strawberry kind of gives it a little zest again i could be completely wrong but i have smelled the strawberry zest just a little bit but overall it comes off like a peach style musk to me the pros is that interesting peach style musk i gotta say that's a pro only because it smells pretty likable while i haven't smelled the peach musk that much so i do kind of like it personally Peach is one of those fragrances that I actually really didn't like it when I was a kid and I've kind of grown to respect it and I do think a lot of people will like this. This is very likable but overall I still almost have a little bit of grudge with anything that smells like peach but I'm almost over it and I do see how it smells good. I think most people would like the smell of peach on anything. Comment down below if you agree. One of the other pros obviously is that it is very cheap, very affordable and maybe that another pro might be that nobody knows about it. That's kind of where the pros end. The cons is the performance. Now, I don't know if this is one of those fragrances where I just don't smell it on myself. I'm not sure. I just seem to spray this up and almost not really smell anything. Something like Abercrombie's Authentic barely lasted. I think it lasted an hour and I feel like this might have lasted even less. To really smell this on me, I'd have to spray it up seven, eight, nine times. Maybe there's a possibility that I bought, I got a wrong bottle but from everything I was looking up online, a couple other people said the same thing. And I think it does smell good, but I just sprayed this up so much and I was unable to really smell it. I mean, even four or five hours later, almost any whiffs of it. And when I did spray it up, I would barely get whiffs of it. It was almost completely transparent. I will say maybe it's a little bit of fleeting or maybe I can't really smell it on myself. I didn't go up to people and ask if they could smell it on me. So there's a chance that my nose went kind of nose blind to the scent. That happens a few times, but overall, very not good longevity and projection. Very unfortunate with this one because it could be maybe a contender if it did have that longevity your projection. So for the smell rating, I give this a 7.5 to an 8. If I liked peach or if I was thought what peach was pretty good, I'd give it a solid 8. It doesn't do too much outside the box, but just a little bit of that peach musky fullness, a little bit of strawberry in the background, my weird analogy of it. I would give it a 7.5 to an 8. And for likability, I would give this an 8 out of 10. This is probably its strongest area. Usually citrus fragrances with a little bit of musk, they're already so likable. And I do think that's the strongest part of this fragrance is the likability for sure. And then longevity and projection, I'd probably give it a four out of 10. This really just did not project. You had, I had other fragrances that last an hour, maybe 45 minutes. And I think those were stronger fragrances than this. I mean, you almost can't really smell almost anything on you right away. So like I said, I spray it seven, eight, nine times all around my body and I barely get little whiffs of it. So that's unfortunate about the projection, but it is what it is. They could have made this fragrance, maybe a contender if it had longevity and projection, but it's unfortunate that it doesn't. We're on the road to 25,000 subscribers. I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. We are almost there, and you guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully, you're having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace. <laughs>